If you'd like to see how I created this lovely black and gold lavish home decor canvas art, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be adding some paint and some glitter and rocks to this black canvas. This is a black canvas. I did not paint it. I didn't add anything to it. This is the way I purchased it. And I didn't, I didn't intend to do this. They were out of the white ones. So I figured, let me just see how the black goes. So I'm going to paint it black. I'll be using more of these and painting them in colors. But today I'm going to go with the black, all black. And then I'm going to go over it with some gold painted rocks, Dollar Tree rocks. And I'll just give you an idea how I would achieve this look. And then these are just some of the glitters and the flakes that I'll be using today. And the paint that I'm um, using. This one just has a little squirt left in it, but I'm going to be using this one. Please. This one is called satin. No, this one is called black and this one is called black. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm also going to be using this um, sponge brush. The paint lays better when I use this. Then I'll be using some Tri Art liquid glass later in the video. Okay, so I'm adding the black paint to the canvas. You want to just add on a decent amount of paint. Now I'm going to start to smooth on the paint onto the canvas with my two inch wide sponge brush. These sponge brushes are pretty affordable. You can get a pack of them, maybe about 10 in a pack for maybe five bucks or less, I'm assuming. Um, and I'm just taking the paint and smoothing it across the whole canvas. Then once the paint is all the way smoothed over, I'll go over it again to make sure all the paint is nice and even. So I'm just kind of going in a left to right back and forth motion. Be sure to make sure that you get the edges of your canvas so that they match the color of the top of your painting. You don't want to have it up, especially if it's a white canvas. You just want to make sure that area is covered. Okay, so the next step, I'm using this product called uh, Tri Art Liquid Glass. Some people use a resin. Or if you don't have a resin, you can use a Mod Podge. I haven't used a Mod Podge. I'm trying something different. So I'm pouring my liquid glass into this cup. I'm going to add my glitter to it. Stir it up, then pour it on the canvas. Usually I just pour it on the canvas, add my rocks or my crushed glass and my glitters. I want to try something different. And you guys, I definitely noticed a difference. So this works very well. And if you want to know more about what liquid glass is, it's like a, a one-step resin minus the toxic smell, and you don't have to stir it with anything. And whatever you put on it, sometimes I put heavy rocks on it, it holds so well. Look how pretty this is. It looks like I'm using some type of glitter paint. So I didn't have much, so I was just trying this out just to see how it turned out. And I was, I'm kind of almost running out of my liquid glass. So you'll see me just try to scrape out every bit down to the last drop. Then I'll go ahead and smooth the rest on. Then I'll add more of the liquid glass. On my canvases, I like the middle area to have a nice depth and I like it to be nice and full. I don't like to be able to see through that middle part. So me spreading this glitter, it's like I'm, I'm starting the, the backdrop with the liquid glass. And I really, really like that. So um, at the end, you'll be able to see how thick it looks in the middle by adding the glitter. Um, you could add glitters, mica powders, um, maybe some alcohol inks or some type of dyes to your uh, Tri Art liquid glass. You can kind of play around with it. So now I'm going to add another hefty amount of this. And I like the way the squirt bottle squirts this stuff out because the squiggly lines on the ends is what really creates those cute little designs that I like. And in the middle, I like it nice and chunky. So we'll move on to the chunky part in just a moment. A 
again, you'll see me smoothing out that tri art so I can have a nice fuller coverage in the middle of my canvas. If you don't want it that full and you want it more slim in the middle, then you wouldn't do this. So this is completely optional. So I'm not using glass today, I'm using some Dollar Tree rocks and I painted them with Rust-Oleum uh, Chrome Gold paint and I got this look. I love it. Um, they were even more chromey looking while they were still wet, but once they dried after a couple days, they kind of look a little dull, but they're still really pretty. They are gold. Um, I'm not sure that I'll do this again because Rust-Oleum, that paint was about seven bucks and I could have just painted them with some craft um, acrylic paint and got that same look in my opinion. But I was just trying something out. Um, this definitely is my favorite part of doing the canvas. I like to just dump everything on that I'm going to dump on. Again, I'm not using glass. You can use glass and rocks. It's up to you. But I think this is a nice alternative if you don't have any crushed glass and crushed mirror. It's cheaper. Mine is painted with the Rust-Oleum. Now that's not a cheaper way to go. It's cheaper if you just take your little crush. Um, it's cheaper if you just take your um, your Dollar Tree rocks, and they do come in multiple sizes. I like the smaller rocks better. I'll go with the medium size rocks, depending upon what type of look I'm going for. But you just either put on some Mod Podge on your rocks and add glitter, or you can add paint to them in glitter, and it just has the most beautiful effect. You can make them any color you want to match what you're doing on your canvas. So I'm just carefully taking my little small pebble rocks, spreading them on the areas where I want them to be, and they'll stick and lock, lock nice and hard in place with this liquid glass. I just love this stuff. It's not that easy to find and it's not that cheap. I used to get it on Amazon, but not anymore. I get it on Blick or DickBlick.com. Now these are some glitter flakes. I love these. They're so chunky, they're so pretty. And I'm just gonna add this over the glitter I'm gonna add this over the liquid glass and it's just gonna be so pretty and so sparkly. Depending upon how sparkly you wanna go with your canvas, you can add a little bit, you can add a lot. The cool thing about doing these yourself is you can definitely customize it to your liking. Now after I add on this chunky um, glitter flakes, I'm gonna go over it with some fine glitter I like to add two different types of glitter. It's something about going over it last with a fine or extra fine glitter because that fine glitter really gets in between those areas that the, the rocks or the chunky glitter can't get to. And it just really tops it off just beautifully. everything on here that I'm going to add to it. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about maybe for what five or six hours or maybe into the next day. Then I'll go ahead and brush it off and we'll see what it looks like. Okay so this is the painting. It has sat for about a good four or five hours. So I'm going to go ahead and take my big soft fluffy brush. I have my little um, glitter bin here. I'm going to put this inside of my bin and brush everything off and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I am brushing off what's not going to stay because I want to make sure that there's not any glitter falling off throughout the life of this canvas. I want to make sure that if someone walks by or if the wind blows that there's not glitter blowing through the house. So I, I brush quite a bit. Um, I do even more brushing off camera. I just showed you a little bit of the brushing that I do um, for the sake of the video not being too long. I do not seal my canvases. I haven't saw the need to. And when I was doing my research on these videos, I don't believe I saw anyone seal theirs. 
Now, if you want to seal yours, that's completely optional. You probably can go over it with a coat, a, a light coat of the liquid glass or Mod Podge if you don't have liquid glass. But this is just so pretty and so sparkly. And I like to go different angles and just keep brushing, 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 and more brushing. And you see how full the middle area is. I love it. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this black and gold canvas wall art Z Gallery dupe. This is gorgeous, I think. I'm sure that this is in my top five of the canvases that I've done. I really appreciate black and gold. I appreciate black and silver too, but it is something about black and gold. If someone has a gold decor in their home, or if they even just have all black and they need a little pop of color added, this is it right here. I adore this. I really like how the middle is so full. I like how it looks nice and chunky in the middle. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, what are your home decor colors? Are you a gold girl or a guy? Or are you a gold or silver girl or guy? What are you What are you into? Because this gold is just everything here. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you received some cool ideas. Or if you know someone who has these similar colors in their home decor, send them this video share it on facebook give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i hope you guys can follow along this video and make one of your own because they're really simple i like to make these paintings um i haven't i think i've sold a couple i didn't start making them to sell them i just really like to do them they're very very therapeutic for me it just puts my mind at ease and i think it's just awesome to do um, I just I'm really a artsy and crafty girl and I like to create these DIYs for you guys I hope you're enjoying them and again hello um, subscribers hello to my new subscribers hello to all my subscribers and if you're not a subscriber you're just watching this video to just get some ideas thank you so much for stopping by Also, be sure to check out my canvas art videos. I have a whole playlist of videos for you decorating different canvas art. Please check that out and my other videos of me embellishing shoes, Crocs, and everything else in between. Wine glasses. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.